Hello and welcome to this exciting tutorial. I am very excited to bring you this particular tutorial because I'm going to teach you how to create your own website. And this is the kind of thing you can actually do for a client. Okay, so I got this template. This is actually a template, HTML. This is HTML only. A template from this website. Uh, this is the website right here. The link will be in the description to this particular template. So I got this one catalog Z. So as you can see here, there are multiple templates that you can get uh, this one and that one and so on. So this is the one here. So just go down uh, here and click uh, download or live view to view how it actually is or download here. So I downloaded it already and put it on my computer. So what we will be doing is converting this HTML uh, thing into a dynamic website where we can actually upload new images and see them here. Okay, so great. So what you're going to learn here is the following. By the end, you know what how to create a content management system, which is just uh, like WordPress or something. And then we're going to be using the model view controller or MVC style of uh, coding. So of course it's going to be object oriented and we will deal with MySQL and we'll learn some templating as well. And then file uploading using drag and drop and the other normal way. Okay, so quite a lot to get to. So let's get started. So make sure you have a server of some kind running. I'm using ZAMP. If you don't know how to install ZAMP, you can check, there'll be a link in the description. So you just go to your start menu, open the ZAMP control panel, and make sure that uh, you start both Apache and MySQL by clicking these two buttons right here. So once you do that and they are green like this, then it means we are good to go. And then we're going to need a text editor, of course. So this is my text editor, which is Sublime Text but you can use any text editor of your choice, doesn't really matter. But uh, make sure here we have a, a side pane here. In case you don't see it, just go to view sidebar and uh, show sidebar here so that we can put folders here. It makes it uh, easier to actually work. Okay, so now that we have all this, uh, the question is why are we going for the MVC uh, type of website? now? The thing is, if you've been coding for a while, it's very hectic to start a website from scratch. So what we'll do is we'll create an MVC system where the next time you want to start creating a website, you won't start from scratch. You, see, you still just copy this MVC structure and then create a different website from the same code. So that way it helps you to code faster. Once you create this, you don't have to create it again. Okay. And then the second thing is that uh, MVC separates the files. The images and the logic of the website are different, the views and the logic. So that way it makes it very easy to scale your website up in case you need to add new pages, it's very easy to do so. And also um, when something changes in the view, it doesn't accept, uh, affect the functionality of the website, okay. So a bit of um, a visualization of how MVC works. I've created this uh, awesome graphic here, uh, top notch, to show you how this thing actually works. So to start with, when somebody uh, enters a URL in the browser to access your website, the what the thing that gets the URL is called a router. So this router is going to tell, uh, is going to look for a controller, which is the C in MVC. The router is going to t uh, look for a controller to actually activate because you have several controllers on your website. Now, depending on what's in the URL, it's going to determine which controller is accessed. And once that controller is loaded, the controller will decide whether it needs to communicate to a model or not. If it does, it's going to go to a model. Now these models are just classes that deal with certain things. Let's say for example, you want to convert a date from one format to another. You're going to have a class in here that does that. So that's called a model. And then sometimes the model will need to read from the database to do its calculation properly. So it will decide to do that, whether to read there or not, and then return all that data back to the controller. And then the controller is going to capture all that data and send it to the view 
where it's going to render an actual page. Okay, so this is how things actually work. So when you change the view here, it doesn't affect the controller or the model. All right, so hopefully that was clear enough. If it wasn't, uh, don't worry about it. You'll see how it works soon enough. So to begin, let's go to our folder. This is the htdocs folder inside C Zamp. okay? So if you're using a different kind of server, uh, just look for the public HTML folder. That's the one we are looking at here. So in here, let's create a new folder. I'm just going to call this uh, folder catalog. You can name it anything you want. So there we go, catalog. So inside there, uh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to drag catalog down to my uh, side pen here in Sublime Text so that I can see the folder here. It just makes it easier to create folders over here than doing it here. But if you don't have this and you're using a different uh, notepad, you can easily create the folders from the uh, browser itself, okay? So once we're here, to support this structure we're talking about, these are files in different folders. So we're going to create different folders to suit this. Okay, so let's begin here. Let me go to catalog here and create a new folder inside. And this folder is going to be public. So public is going to be the folder that uh, that contains all the public files like your index page, the home page, uh, the images, the JavaScript and all that stuff. And then we're going to have one more folder called app. Now this is going to contain the logic of your website. So when somebody uh, tries to access your website, they're going into the public folder, this one. And the app folder is going to be one step up. That's for security reasons so that uh, people cannot download your code uh, from that folder. Okay, so inside the public folder, we're going to create a new folder as well, which we're going to call assets. So this is assets uh, we'll be using like images, JavaScript and all that will be in here. And then in this same fold folder public, we're going to create a new file. And this file is going to be our index.php. So let me save this one as index.php. Great, so we'll put some PHP tags in there and forget about it, save. Okay, so, so far, so good. Now let's close our uh, public file for now, folder, sorry. Let's go to the app folder now. In here, we're going to create some few folders as well. The first one is going to be controllers, okay? And the next one, you guessed it, is going to be models. And the third one, views of course so that the mvc is complete and then one more folder core now core is going to contain all the logic that is essential to running the website itself this code in here rarely changes but in controllers you'll be adding new controllers every time you add a new page you add a new controller and whenever you need a new functionality you add a new model and also, you'll be adding new views per page, but core will remain as it is. So that's why we need a separate folder. <clears throat> and then here, we're going to go to app, right click, and then create a new file. In here, inside core, we're going to name this one init.php. So this one is for initializing. Okay, that's great. And then, uh, what else do we need? We are going to go to core, right click, and create a file in core. Save this file. Now this file is going to be um, app.php. This will be the actual app. Right click, new file, database.php, save that. So we're just going to put some PHP tags in there and save it and close it. Same thing here, some PHP tags, save. Even there, PHP tags, save. Okay, great. So database uh, up and then one, uh, two more files in here. The first one is going to be controller. So this is the controller right here, .php. And then one more file here is going to be 
um, config. So let me save this config.php. So config.php will contain all the configuration uh, we need in order to run our app. So I think that's about uh, it in here that we need. Okay. Now we need a way to load all these files into uh, when we start running our app. So we're going to load them inside the init. That's why this initialize init stands for initialize. So to initialize these files, we're simply getting all these files inside core and loading them inside the init here. Okay. Now, before we do that, let's go to public index.php. This is our PHP page. And then inside controllers here, one more thing, let's create a new file in there and save. So this one is the home controller, home.php. So this is a controller that's loaded whenever somebody just goes to your website without typing anything extra. They just www.com. So the controller there will be loaded. And then inside views here, we will need at least one page in here. But for now, since we are using, uh, we're going to use a template, we'll use those template files instead. Okay. So as it is, as it stands right here, this is the complete MVC structure. Once you've created this, you are good to go. So let me, uh, let's add some functionality. And then once we add some functionality in here, the next time you want to create a website, you can simply copy this catalog folder, uh, rename it, and then you are good to create uh, a new